know one another well. Went head to head in uh, last year's Chips, now the World Under 18 Championships. That was at Cali in Colombia where Tabe picked up the gold and bet the silver. They met again at the Kenya trial ahead of these championships and it was bet first and Tabe second. On both occasions, nothing more than a stride separated the two. So they are very evenly matched indeed. So too in terms of lifetime bests. Bet 144.55, Tabe 144.51. So the bat of an eyelid, just four one hundredths of a second separating the two. Brian Bell. He's a 147 man, the American. Gorata Gabankitsa of uh, Botswana. Finished very fast yesterday to earn his place in the final. So here's Kip Jagen Bet. The Mexican. Jesus Lopez, 146.57, his lifetime best. Ranked number six in the world this year. Here's Mustafa Smiley. Well, if there is to be uh, someone to mess things up for the two Kenyans, I would suggest it's going to be the Moroccan. Here's Darbe. In great form. Chinini there of uh, Tunisia. In lane eight and on the outside, the other fast loser, Robert Heppenstahl of Canada. Donovan Brazier, the world number one, and 143.55, and he's not here to. No, Don Donovan Brazier, Brazier had a bit of a disaster at the US Olympic trials, eased off and got out dipped, so went, didn't even make the make it out of the heats in the US Olympic trials. Very disappointing for the youngster, but he'll learn. So keep your eye on the two Kenyans, Kip Yegun Bet and Willie Tabe. The first bend running lanes and uh, the American Brian Bell. Anxious there to get to the curve and to the front. Bet coming across there. So it's Bet who leads. Bell there in second place. And Tabe, you can see, following his every stride. The Mexican Lopez on the shoulder. A little bit of a gap then back to the bots on and look out Moroccan at the moment he's right at the back and he surely must know he can't afford to give too much away to the two Kenyans here but if there is to be an athlete finishing with a very fast finish I'd suggest it's Smiley and this first lap well it's pretty quick without being suicidally so 52.98. Bell went to the front and then got past. Now I got the impression wanted it to be a bit quicker. The Kenyan slowed it down. It was 25-1 at 200. 25, 52.98. That's almost 53 seconds at 400. They've slowed it, the Kenyans. And I think Bell there in the dark glasses is frustrated, boxed in behind them. Well, now Smaley has made his move. He's come from the back. He's moved on to the shoulder there of the two Kenyans. It's Bet who's got the curve, though, with Tarbe on his outside. And now Smaley beginning to lose a meter or so. And it's Lopez, actually, the Mexican, who's threatening on the outside. But it's Bet who's made his best way home. And Bet has got two or three meters. And he appears to have slipped the field. This is a marvelous run from Kip Jagen Bet. He's going to have his revenge for the World Youth Championship last year. Smiley comes through for third, 144.96. And in all honesty, that in the end was comfortable for Kip Jagen Bet. These two Kenyans, the youngest men in the field, just 18. And really. He won as he liked, 144.95. No one in the end could cope with that, even his teammate, Willie Tarbe. And the significant statistic, Martin, is that is the 10th uh, title for the Kenyans in this distance, is that he ran negative splits, 52.98. And I really do think they wanted it that way, the Kenyans. The acceleration with 200 metres to go was really marked. And very few of them could live with this uh, acceleration from Bet over the last 150. Tarbay there in second place, managing to stay clear. But it was an intelligently run race from the two Kenyans, working together and getting their uh, just rewards.
Well, it's the biggest back gap ever seen between these two at major events. They were separated by less than a metre at the World Youth Championships when it was Tarbe who won. And then at the trial, just a few weeks ago in Nairobi, when Bet beat Tarbe, that time less than a stride between them, and Smaley, who I think must look at the way he ran the race there. I think probably, in all honesty, he was never going to finish better than third, but off what was, at this level, not a ridiculously quick first lap, to give the two Kenyans a five or six metre start, really, was not the wisest thing to do. But there you see confirmation of that. Good run from Lopez there in fourth. Heaven Starlow only got in as a fast loser. He'll be happy with third place. And Gavin Kitzer, the uh, Botswana, in the end, finishing almost tailed.